Hello, hello, Scrapper Names fans. How are we all? So I'm up on the Scrapping Fun Kits Design Team blog today with my Design Team share for the day, I guess. Now, my video is a little bit odd angled because I thought I'd try something new with my camera because it worked for my live stream I did the other day, but I couldn't get it right when I did it this way. So it is the, you can see everything. It's just really big anyway so i am doing a 12 by 12 mixed media layout using the july embellishment kit which was harry potter magically themed kit um, which was pretty cool um so i've just got some basil marshmallow cardstock there i've just spritzed some illusion spray on uh, distress spray sorry um in the can't think of the color it's a pinky color just across the background i didn't use packaging technique or anything i literally just sprayed it on gave it a little mop up with some paper towel just so it wasn't sort of seeping through the paper um and then now i'm getting the owl cut file that we got with the kit as well now i did make mine i had it sent to me um as a file so i made mine a bit big i was a bit cheeky um on my cameo so i've sprayed that with some color blast shimmer spray i think it's the saffron now you can't quite see it on camera but it does have a nice subtle glimmer to it so and that's all i wanted i didn't want it to be like a complete yellow um and i didn't want it to be left white which i know is the owl in harry potter but this isn't a harry potter themed layout um so let me make that clear too it is two photos of my daughter doing some homework as such she's only in kindergarten but she's very eager um, and enthusiastic with her learning and so we do some extra things at home sometimes in the afternoon um and i just snap some photos of her doing it because it's very cute so that's what these photos are so i guess another way and i think i did another layout earlier in the month that used the kit but not using it to do a harry potter theme um, and so has some of the other design teams. So jump over onto the blog and check it out. Um, so you don't have to use the kits for what they're necessarily titled as. Um, so never feel that that's the way, you know, you can always just use it the way you want to use it. So this one is going to be documenting my daughter's enthusiasm for learning. Now, I wanted to do a bit of a white border uh, just because I did a Facebook Live for Kidaholic Kits the other week and we were talking about the white borders around a photo and I thought, you know what, I'm going to give it a burl. I didn't quite like it for this. So I've done a white border but I've added some texture using just the tissue paper. So <laughs> I just... I don't know why. I used, tried to use my computer paper and maybe because it's not real thick, it just, it looked really flimsy and thin and just, meh. so I didn't like it. So I've backed my photo with actually two layers of tissue paper and it's the first time I've actually used black tissue paper. Um, and I thought it went really well. Now, despite being, you know, I guess not so much a... A colour we would reach for with using a girl lad, I guess, and these colours I would use, it actually really makes the po photos pop off these backgrounds, I think, um, and ties in really well with the other colour scheme throughout the kit. So, if that made sense then, I think, yeah. Anyway, so the two layers of tissue. I thought went really well. Obviously, black and white contrast quite well together, um, and then it went really well with the rest of the sort of layout. So, yeah, I was really happy with it. Sort of of late have just not been winging it, but just really just going, you know what? It doesn't, perfection is just a state of mind. Um, and just really sort of trying a few things that I may not, adding a few things to layouts I may not normally do. And black tissue paper was one of them. See, so you can see there, it just really frames the photos quite well. And being that it's like my dining room table, there is like a really dark wooden teak sort of colour. It really just sort of, brings it out quite well i thought now i don't want to hide my owl so i'm making sure the photos are sitting perfectly um around the owl or, or tucked in underneath where it needs to be so that way the alley sort of stands out uh, alley sorry that's what we call it when my daughter was a baby and i am just using double-sided tape to adhere this to the background heavy mixed media there's no gesso nothing like that so it sticks really well like i said i mopped up 
a lot of that spray uh, mist in the background so it wasn't really sopping wet and the, the paper didn't need to soak a heap up so um so yeah it it, it, it works quite fine with the double-sided tape it's all still stuck down nothing's fallen off so woohoo now just using these as some of the paper flowers that came in the kit as well they're like a really um oh what's the color it's not like maroon is that maroon oh my goodness where's my head at i can't think straight anyway you can see the color so I play around i want to use them in this in this layout i'm trying to use up my kit a bit um I like to, when I have my kits, kill them as best as possible at the end of the month just to show that um, on my last layouts in particular that, you know, you get your value for money. I still have some kit left over, so, yeah, you, yeah, it's well worth it. Doing some washi just to, um, just to build some tiny clusters. So I do build three little clusters. I don't want to take away from the L and I certainly don't want to take away from my photos. Um... So I'm using the charm that was in there, the paper flower, and there's something else I use as well. But I guess we should wait and see, shouldn't we? I probably shouldn't jump ahead of the game. I do fight a little bit here and then, um, you know, stop and edit the photo. The, the thing out here um and again because i was trying to put some um and i do put some t um thread or twine through the um the metal charm there oh yeah it worked i got it through but it was a bit of a fight uh and i'm just using glossy accents to stick those down just because as again they are heavier and they work better the glossy accents are quite stronger so it works quite well now i'm going to use these this is a cut apart sheet that was also in the kit and i'm going to use this magic um to use as a journaling card here next to i do i think i do trim it down a little bit more um and then write on it All right, just trimming down this project like well, cutable printable. I can't even talk. It's going to be, as I said, my journaling card. Sorry, I've just come back from uh, having a short break from being able to film this. So I do I'll voice over this. So I do fiddle around as to where this is going to best be placed. And I just thought this this left hand side was the best in proportion to the large owl on the top right there. So just a bit more balanced, I guess. pretty certain I do cut this out and I am just using a for anyone who does have the kits and are not sure about um, journaling I am just using a usual the usual black uniball like Signo pen to journal it didn't smudge it hasn't smeared it's been fine so the printables are or the cut aparts are cut aparts easy enough to write on without too much of a drama now I'm using my large heart punch just to cut out some shapes here from the papers, the pattern papers in the kit. I wanted to use some of those, but I didn't want to use them for layering. I decided I just wanted to move away from using paper layers for a bit. I was a bit like, it needs, I need a rest. Uh, so this is what I'm going to use to make my uh, little embellishment clusters. So as I said, I think I make this three using these hearts. And as you can see, the black tissue paper kind of balances out really well with the darker tones of this paper of the hearts. So the pattern paper is that blue with the like the book, like library bookshelf kind of look to it. So just adding those in. I add and a couple of other small little punched out some small hearts which you'll see in the close-ups just to finish off those little clusters with some washi strips I think and I have just done the title wise little owl uh, I hand um, did the the little using just a nouveau script font texture so texture pen whatever it is 
And then just a doodly border just to finish it off. I think I've said in one arm. Oh, no, this is not black. This is I'm using a gold Posca pen, which worked absolutely brilliantly to do um, this border. And it just added the right touch as opposed to a black border. If I could draw straight, that would be great. Um, but I thought it just added the perfect touch. It added into that yellow of the sparkle of the, the owl. Um, and just added a nice little finishing bright ling to the edge of my page and then the only other thing I think I, I do end up doing is I actually outline the owl just because it is a little bit pale and I really want it to pop so in this layout I kind of had the owl I think I said before um, the owl and the photos are sort of both, they're sort of like two focal points because I really loved the cut file. I thought it was really, really well done and really gorgeous. Um, hence I did the yellow, the lights misting of the shimmer spray. I didn't want it really bright yellow. Um, but then I do come in with just my normal um, Sharpie pen and I just give it a thin black border just to really make it pop off that white um, cardstock background. I don't make you sit and watch this. So don't worry, it did take a little bit to do because I didn't want it to sort of, I had to take my time because I didn't want it to come off the owl do when you do a doodly border. But that is it, my layout is finished. Um, so here are the close-ups. Be sure to check out the Scrapping Fun blog um, and subscribe for some of their upcoming kits. Raylene does a great job of some of the themed kits and uh, I'm sure you've uh, enjoyed these ones. So I will see you for August's kits. Thanks for watching, guys. Bye.